Hi there, in this video I want to take some statistics uh, derived from this GeoTIFF raster layer. This is uh, SRTM, uh, it's of, uh, around Austria way. And, I've, uh, and I want to take those statistics and put them into these polygons as attributes. So I've just drawn some regions here, uh, in, and I'm in MapInfo uh, 16. Um, so I've just drawn them uh, freehand. Uh, I've done a sort of valley there, so there should be some low data, uh, a few, few peaks, and then just a different shape there. So it's, ju it's just freehand. Uh, you, these could be habitats or something. Uh, and indeed, what I'm going to show you will work on any raster and any um, uh, vector region polygon uh, layer. So um, I shall go to raster operations, and you'll see region stats. And I'll click on region stats. And I'll select my SRTM, which is my raster layer. And I want to uh, use some polygons, that's these, uh, to, to generate um, a new table with the attributes taken from this uh, raster layer. If, if you click on more options, you can see which attributes you actually want to take. So there's quite a few here. I'm not going to uh, take all of these, I think. I think I'll just take... Uh, the minimum, maximum cell values, the average, the mean, and the um, uh, cell count, so how many cells uh, actually were used in this process to get these uh, min, max, and average values, and uh, put them in there. So I'll just take those. I'll, I'll keep to the default uh, name for that layer. It can be called anything. And let's run the process. So there's my results. Uh, the task is complete successfully. It's got a green bar. I'll just close that. And you can see there is my uh, result table. So it's called uh, SRTM 3903 region browser, and there's the min max for each of the three um, polygons. So th that's not in the layer. It's not in my uh, map window, my mapper. So I click on add and add it to the mapper. And I'll just turn off some polygons. That was the original file. And if I use the info tool and click, I now get my data. So you can see the minimum maximum values and the mean in that. So wherever I click in that polygon, the, the statistics has been aggregated and uh, there's a minimum uh, value there, 1015, and the minimum in, in there, almost as expected, 970, it's a lower number, it's down in the valley there. So these are drawn freehand, not particularly accurately. I didn't exactly digitize them really. Uh, and so I've got uh, these results. If I go to that region table, I can label uh, with an expression. I've actually already sort of created it to save time. When you create an expression, you can pick columns and do what you like. CH$13, it's just, uh, just a character term. Uh, you'll see what I mean. Uh, it'll just print it uh, uh, on the next line, and I could set the font in here. Uh, let, let's do um, a white font on black, make it stand out. I know it's not going to win any design prizes, but you know that's not the um, point. It's just to show you. Then I'll turn, just turn on labeling, and there you go. Min, max, cell count uh, in the um, uh, as labels on that uh, on those three polygons. Just as a final uh, note to this, uh, that there's, a, there's a feature in here in raster operations, uh, convert, uh, which is uh, very powerful actually. Uh, I've used QGIS quite a bit for data translation, but, um, but note in map info with uh, rasters, you can convert your raster to a variety of raster types. So uh, something very handy, so if you want to get into ER Mapper, for example, as its um, native format ERS, uh, or surfer, then then off you go. If you go to GeoTIFF, you can actually change the um, compression settings. Well, none if you don't want any, but but uh, to, to whatever option you like and and the sort of level of compression. Just thought I'd end end on that. It's just another little useful uh, hint and tip. I hope.